guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review and tutorial for you featuring the Red Pro Hybrid Titanium 2-in-1 Root Straightener and Flat Iron. And this was actually sent to me by the company to review. Um, normally, to be quite honest with you, I receive so many like emails to review different hair products. And I always just pass on it because I'm really content with the products that I use. And I just think if, if, it's, if what I'm using is working, like why change it or why rock the boat, you know? But I read the email on this one and then I looked at the product and it really, really interested me and intrigued me. And I looked at some reviews and the reviews looked really good. So I agreed to receive it to review for you guys. The reason why I was so intrigued by this is because I'm sure you guys know by now if you've seen like any of my hair videos. But I do get Japanese hair straightening to my hair and I get that done about... Every 10 to 12 months I get it done so in between getting it done of course I do get um, new growth and sometimes I do want to not just have to wear my hair up to hide it I want to you know wear my hair down and to do that I have to straighten my roots and normally I just use my regular flat iron my sea dew revolution flat iron that I've had for years and years and years I normally just use that one and use like a fine tooth rat tail, rat tail, rat tail comb to follow it to make sure that I get my roots nice and straight to match the texture of the rest of my hair. And what I have a problem with is usually this part of my hair right here, this part of my hair is very coarse. I wouldn't say very coarse, but it's coarse compared to the rest of my hair. And the curl pattern is different. It's much tighter curl. So I do have trouble sometimes with this part. Um, if I don't take my time and use really small sections and go over the roots in that area a few times, it will be a little bit wavy and it won't match. So that's, that's the only part that I don't really like about straightening my hair with my other flat iron is I have to be really careful and it does take, you know, takes a good amount of time to get it looking like this, which by the way, I did use this to achieve the look that you're seeing on me right now. I straighten my whole head with this flat iron and root straightener. Before I get into the demo on the hair tool, I just want to tell you a little bit about it. So it is from the brand Red Pro and it's the Hybrid Titanium 2-in-1 Root Straightener and Flat Iron and I have it in the 1 inch. I do believe it also comes in a half inch size. And on the box it says it's the first ever Root Straightener and Flat Iron combined. This flat iron goes up to 460 degrees. It has an instant heat up which I did notice it, it did heat up pretty quickly. And it has a 90 minute auto shut off and a 2 year warranty. And it also comes with a two fluid ounce size of this argan oil. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the demonstration part of the video and then at the end of the video we'll recap for my final review on the hair tool. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look and see how this hair styling tool works, then just keep watching. So this is what my hair looks like without blow drying or flat ironing or anything like that. And I just washed it last night. I washed it and then I braided it in a loose like braid and then I just slept and it just air dried. So you see like there's a slight wave to it. It kind of went away now because I've been like brushing through it with my hands and stuff throughout the day. But there was like more of a, a wave to it. You can kind of still see it a little bit. But normally this part of my hair here is straight. I get the Japanese hair straightening which makes this part of my hair straight. But this part is not straight anymore, the roots, because uh, it's been about five months or so since I've got it done. But I have some new growth. So my new growth, my hair is different textures honestly. In some parts it's more like looser, wavy looking, and then like this middle part of my hair is really coarse and the curl pattern is different. It's almost like a really, really deep wave. So what I have problems with a lot of time with my regular flat iron is um, getting this middle part of my hair, I guess you would call this like the crown, getting this part of my hair to be perfectly straight. So I wanted to try this hair tool out and see how it would do with that. Um, I don't really have that much of an issue with like the size of my hair. I don't really have that much of an issue. I try to show you guys like 
I don't know if you can see the texture here of my hair. So it's not that bad here. But it's more like wavy looking on this part. But then this part, let me see if I can sh show you. Hopefully you can see like the texture on this part of my hair is a lot like coarser. And it's a tighter curl on this part. So this is like the part that I have problems with when I flat iron my hair. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that because it, like the way that I kind of hide it, if I don't want to do anything, is like if I flip my hair over like this and push that part back, you can't really, it doesn't really look that bad. Like, but if I wanted to wear like, if I want like a bone straight look, it's not gonna look right unless I really focus in on my roots because it is definitely a, di a different texture than my ends. So yeah, so I'm just going to demonstrate me using the root straightener and the flat iron. And this is also my first time using it as well. So we're gonna be seeing how it works together. This is going to be like a first impression review for you. So I'm really interested to see how this works and if it works any better at straightening my roots than my regular flat iron. So the flat iron did come with this argan oil that's supposed to protect your hair from heat damage, but I already put a serum in my hair when my hair was damp, so I don't want to weigh it down or make it too oily. So I'm not gonna use this one, but I am going to spray my hair with the heat protectant, heat protectant spray like I always do. And the one that I'm using is from Nexus. It's the Pro Mend Split End Repairing Heat Protecting Mist. And this is my favorite heat protecting spray. So I'm just going to spray that all throughout my hair. And then I'm just going to take my dirty brush and brush my hair out. And then I'm going to section my hair off. So I don't have any clips with me. I just have these hair ties. So I'm gonna use the hair ties. And I'm just gonna start by taking a small section from the bottom part of my hair. And I'm going to tie the rest of my hair up. Then I'm gonna take this bottom piece and I'm just going to split it into two pieces down the middle, like that. And this flat iron goes up to 460 degrees, but I do not use that high of heat on my hair. So I'm gonna go with 400. I normally don't even use the 400, but I really want to test how this product works. So I'm gonna put it at 400 degrees. And this is a part of my hair that kind of has that looser curl pattern. First, I'm gonna take the root straightening side and I'm just going to pass it through my And this can get really close to the root of your hair without burning your scalp, which I like. So that's pretty much my roots there. And it's pretty much straight. And then I'm gonna pass through the rest of my hair with the flat iron. And that's the hair right here with um, like two passes of the root straightener at my roots and then just one pass for the flat iron part. So I think it turned out pretty good. So I'm gonna start on this other side. So this is the first section done. I'm just going to continue to work my way up and I'll kind of speed through or fast forward this part and then when I get to the coarser part of my hair, the one that I'm really concerned about, then I'll come back to you.
Okay, so now we're getting into the coarser, more difficult part of my hair to work with. And I'm just gonna show you here. So I grabbed this section. Wrong way. And you can kind of see the texture difference there from that really like coarse curly part and then it gets straight. So this is like getting into the part that I have more difficult. You can see better against the white there. So this is the part that I have more difficulty um, straightening at the roots. So let's see how it does on this part of my hair. I'm just going to take a section in like this. So that's pretty much bone straight in two passes. So that's absolutely amazing. That's gonna save me so much time and I'm like really getting excited about it. Normally I have to take my flat iron and take a fine tooth comb and kind of like pull, 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 pull a couple times with my regular flat iron, which is a good flat iron. I've been using it for years. But having this comb incorporated with it, with the heat, makes it like so much easier. And that's that's straight. So, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with the rest of my hair and um, I'll fast forward through that for you so you can see that. And then I'll get back with you for the final review. So I just had to go like powder my face because I got so hot doing this because I kept my air off for some reason. I don't know why. But this is the final result using the iron and root straightener. And I have to say I really, really love the iron. I've never used a root straightener before or a hot comb or anything like that before, but having this two-in-one flat iron and comb it just makes it so much easier and so much faster I'm sure if I wasn't like using my viewfinder I would have been even faster because it still kind of took me a long time just because I'm doing it with a viewfinder and my eyesight's already bad but I'm sure if I was in front of a mirror I just know that my the time that I take flat iron my hair would just be so much faster and I've 
kind of feel motivated to flat iron my hair a little bit more because I always dread doing it. But the flat iron definitely makes it a lot easier. If you have even coarser, thicker, curlier hair than how my roots are, I think it can work for you as well. I've seen a couple of other ladies reviews here on YouTube and it worked on their hair as well. Um, you may want to go up just a little bit on the temperature just depending on you know your hair type. I think this is good for several different hair types if you're someone that gets a relaxer or any kind of keratin treatment or any kind of straightening treatment and you need something for your roots or if your roots are just kind of like you know stubborn and hard and hard to get to. I think you can really benefit from this iron. I didn't think I was going to like it honestly as much as I do just because I'm really used to my more expensive flat iron and I just thought that a flat iron had to be really expensive in order for it to work well. Um, but this is definitely inexpensive. On the box that I received it says $15 off price $49.99 so that's what it says. So 50 bucks. I think my flat iron that I've used for years is like a little over a hundred bucks but the results that I achieved with this is the same results or even better the only con that I have on this is that the location of the on off switch is not the best because when I was straightening my hair um, I noticed it wasn't straightening as good and I'm like what's wrong with this thing I'm like I really liked it now it's like not working but then I looked down and I realized I had turned it off and that's why it wasn't working um, and I actually did that three times over the process of me straightening my whole head so just keep that in mind and I would probably say to the makers of this flat iron and hair root straightener if you could change the design on it to put the on off switch and the temperature control on the inside of the flat iron I think that would definitely make it pretty much perfect and my overall review on this is it's excellent and definitely go get it you can find this at your local beauty supply stores and I'll also put the link down below for you in the description but I really love it and if you're in the market for a new flat iron or root straightener or both Definitely check this product out. I think you'll really like it. So that completes my review and demo. I hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Summer night, summer night. I stare at the satellite, satellite. I wonder why I, I get so high.